How is it going? I know it's been a while, but today I'm making a video uh, that's a bit different from the other content I usually release. Um, actually, talking about formations. I know uh, it's it's weird because I've never made anything like this, but I've been trying the three five two because the game has gone a bit still. So I've been trying to just kind of spice things up for myself, and I've got to tell you the three five two formation is uh, is amazing, and I'll tell you guys why. So. First things first is this, okay? The 352 can be defensive and offensive. The key to that is your wing backs. Sorry, your wingers. So I have Van Bergen and Ryan Kent. Again, Van Bergen is a bit sketchy. I could upgrade that player, but he works for me so, so far. But the most important thing about your wingers is having a decent work rate. High medium, high high preferably, but high medium is fine. High attacking, medium defensive, and put them on comeback on defense, right? So you also want them to have the engine. They need to be able to run up and down. Picture Robertson and Trent Alexander-Arnold at Liverpool, how they play. That's their job. They're just going to go up and down the flanks, and they need to be pacey, obviously. And you will find that this formation can easily switch from defense to attack and vice versa. So let's, look a, let's take a little uh, deep dive here at the instructions. By the way, a friend of mine did recommend this for me in case he's watching right now. I'm going to give him credit. <laughs> No, I'm not going to try and make it seem like this is all my idea. So, uh, if you look at the strikers, you have stay central, stay forward for the strikers, right? This is very important when you're on the attack. So, for example, you're playing against someone who's a possession rat, right? You finally get the ball, you need the outlet. Because sometimes when you find yourself defending against someone who holds possession, is that you don't have a lot of outlets, right? So, having that stay central, stay forward is good. And having your players come back in defense as well can also help you get the ball from deep and transition to the two options you have up for, up um, up top. So that's what I have for the strikers. And for the midfielders, so if you look at Rooney right here, have him stay on the edge of the box for cross. This is important as well. Now, the reason why I use Rooney is because Rooney is not just an attacking-minded player. He can also defend, right? And I'll go to Tavernier and Essien soon, but one of my CDMs, bumps forward right so i needed somebody else like rooney to kind of kind of rotate so to, so to speak so rooney has high medium but he also has def decent um defensive stats and you know he's strong he's got a good physicality as well so he can kind of provide support going forward and also defensively as well so that's why rooney is key for me um Another option would be Renato Sanchez. That would be actually preferred. That would be my preferred option. I would rather have Renato Sanchez um, instead of Rooney, but, you know, coins and all of that. <laughs> so right now I'm just sticking with Rooney because I'm a Manchester United fan and Rooney's, he's, he's pretty great. So that's what I have there for Rooney. And then for, for Tavernier, because he's more kind of like attacking, he can shoot, he can pass kind of thing. I just kind of like uh, sent him forward a little bit. So yeah, if you see what I'm, this is what I'm talking about, my uh, wingers. I have them come back on defense, stay wide. That's important just so they can control the flanks and get in the box for a cross. That's just for like opportunities. And then um, SCN, I have SCN on uh, cover center. And so if you look here with the CDMs, Tavernier, cover center, I live in balance and everything else because I want him to actually bump forward. And you will see, I'll show you a, a clip about how this formation kind of works when I'm attacking and how it works when I'm defending as well. So having cover center, I don't want him to stay back. I want him to go forward when he sees the opportunity to. And then SCN, who is more defensive for me, I want him to stay back while attacking, right? So the wingers is the same. Stay on, um, stay wide, I'll come back on defense, get into the box for cross. Same thing for both wingers. The Rooney, stay on edge of the box. That's all I need him to do. The Pierre and Edvard, stay forward, cover, um, stay central and stay forward. That's it. For the defenders, it's the neutral stuff. Just stay back while attacking. And the strength of this formation from an attacking point of view comes from the fact that you have five players in the midfield. Five. I'm not counting Nedved and Dalpierre, obviously, because those are your strikers. I'm just talking about the midfield. You have five players. Not a lot of formations can deal with that. Okay, You're always going to have someone open. You're always going to have someone open. And this is why also, because when you have this much, this many options of people going forward, you're going to be vulnerable sometimes. So that's why I have comeback and defense on the wingers. And I kind of have more defensive oriented people in the midfield. So you have Rooney, Tavernier, Essien. Every single one of those people have, every single one of those players or those cards have good defensive stats. So that is important. You want to have 
players that are a bit versatile in the midfield when playing this formation. At least that's what I found brings a lot of success for me when I'm using this formation. And also the fact that I never have to worry about an option to pass the ball. So let me go a bit forward here. I'm just going to show you a goal I scored. So where is it? It, it was kind of like a kickoff glitch if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so yeah. So watch the runs, okay? Now watch, just watch this. I'm not triggering any of these runs, by the way. Like that wasn't me. I didn't trigger that, okay? You just watch. Okay, look at Tavernier. That's my CDM, okay? He's making a run forward, okay? It's gone, okay? Watch, watch, watch Kleiber, okay? <laughs> watch Kleiber, all right? Look at this. Look at Essien. Look at this. Do you see what I mean? It's kind of hard. This is a kickoff glitch. I'm not going to lie, it is. But you see what I mean, right? When I'm on the attack because I have so many players, so many players so I have get into the box for some, stay on the edge of the box, basically, and they are all high, they all have high attacking work rates. Essien has high attacking work rates. Literally every one of my players have high attacking work rates. The only player on this pitch right now that doesn't have high attacking work rate is Laurent Blanc. That's just that's just that's just the fact. Every single one of my players <laughs> have high attacking work rate. So it's a bit like of a blitzkrieg, gung ho kind of thing where it's like you need a goal, you need opportunities, you need options, you want to be able to pass, you want to be able to just attack ferociously. This is information for you, but it can be defensive as well. It's not the best defensively, but you can make it work. I don't really find it difficult to defend with this formation, but again, you can experiment with that. I find like having the wing back, the wing, the wingers fall back, that really helps me a lot. Okay, so right now, if you look at my formation, just look at the line at the back. Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five. That's the lineup at the back. This is my formation, but look at the lineup at the back. I have five. So I have three, three core defenders, but then I have five players at the back. The, the, those are my wingers at the far end. And what you will find with those wingers is that they do a better job than a, like, than a regular fullback in a four, defense, four defender formation. Because the right backs in this game, for some reason, they don't really cover the, the wings as much. They tend to cut in, drift in. I don't know what it is. It's just kind of weird. But with a 3-5-2, your wingers are going to be wide. So you set them on stay wide set them on comeback on defense, they're going to respect that all throughout the game. And that's what gives this formation a defensive edge. So you can see the lineup, have Tavernier, Essien and Rooney, Nedved and Del Piero up front. And this right here provides a lot of stability because the two most important pieces for you are your wingers. They just got to be solid. They got to be able to run for days, have the pace and have the stamina to go back and forth. That's it. That's all you really need. And you'll be good defensively, good offensively. And um, yeah, man, it's fun. You guys should try it out. I, I think I did concede here, but I, don't know, I may not get to that. But anyways, that's pretty much a short. Well, it's not really short. It's a bit longer. But, you know, this I, I really like this formation. I enjoyed it. I had so much fun with it. There's always an option. Defending is easy with it. And I just thought, like, I'll share with you guys. Um, I, I, I've played against players with 2200 SR, basically decent players with this formation. I've been able to beat them comfortably. I'm not talking about 1-0-2-1. I'm talking about like five. Like I've been able to beat them comfortably. I've also lost to this formation, by the way. I'm not saying you get this formation, guys, and you get top 100. That's ridiculous, okay? It 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 helps to have options. I look at this. I look at just watch the pitch. Watch watch how they're moving. Okay, Rooney is there. Del Piero is there. You know, look at Tervenier is coming in to hop. One, two, three, four, five six players in the opposition box okay just like that and then look Essien is there again you know what I mean so if you're one of those people that just kind of like you don't really like to hold the ball you just want to play free-flowing football this is the formation for you um other other five in the midfield formations work as well but I find like this is probably the best for me like 451 is decent as well but anyways guys I'm talking a bit too much here thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe if you found this video um informational useful or whatever it is and uh yeah I just uh Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. And uh, I may be releasing more videos like this in the future. Until next time, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.